In the video that I posted earlier, uh, obviously I showed that the wall was lined with Newtonite lath and I explained it was a southwesterly facing elevation. So now I'm on the first floor level, uh, directly above that location, but they didn't get round to using the membrane in this location or carrying out any work to mitigate against rainwater penetration. So what we've got, southwesterly facing, and there's your aspect. You really couldn't get much more exposed sitting at the top of a hill sweeping down into the valleys and what we've got is rainwater penetration you've got a lot of efflorescent salt appearing which indicates that the wall is intermittently wet and drying obviously that depends on the rainfall some of that's quite heavy so it's actually blown the face of the finished plaster typical damp staining and that discoloration of the plaster so it's washing the mineral salts obviously through the masonry onto the surface of the plaster so you get this discoloration and you can see the damage it does yeah and this is typical on an exposed southwesterly elevation we've just had a you know shed load of water uh, rainwater coming from the southwest so this then hence the reason it's the last couple of days the sun's came out so it's very quickly you'll start to see these efflorescent salts appearing on the surface. So I just thought it was a nice little continuation of what the wall downstairs, which has now been lined with a uh, Newtonite lath, what it would have looked like. And obviously when they haven't done the same on the first floor level, this is what it looks like. So it's very important, you know, when, you, when you're carrying out your surveys, I always say as a priority, when I get there, the first thing I do is get my compass out and establish the orientation because it's going to give you pointers as to you know what the potential sources of damp or defects that you're going to come across so very important that you understand northeast southwest okay thanks a lot now bye